uh, that there will be fatalities, there have been fatalities, uh, that much is clear. You can see here, uh, this shows what would have been a very, very busy marketplace about four hours ago, uh, just before 8 a.m. Uh, and we're just getting uh, a little bit more detail again from Chinese social media. Uh, and I, a person claiming to be an eyewitness says an incident took place this morning in Urumqi. Two vehicles broke through a police barrier and drove into the morning market together detonated explosives, five or six big sounds could be heard. One can smell the explosives from the north gate of the park. So this is Urumqi. It's the provincial capital uh, of Xinjiang province. It's many, many miles from Beijing. Urumqi itself is about a, uh, 1,500 miles from the Chinese capital. It's far closer to the borders of the Stans uh, of Pakistan, of uh, T Turkmenistan, uh, than it is uh, to the Chinese capital. Uh, and it is a place where uh, there has been increasing unease and an increasing number uh, of what the Chinese government is uh, quite explicitly calling terrorist attacks. Uh, it is, as you mentioned, the home uh, to the uh, Uyghur Muslim population. Uh, they once were uh, the vast majority of those who lived there. But over the past decade or so, there's been an influx of the majority Chinese Han population. And that has caused a huge amount of resentment between the two different communities. Uh, and over recent years, that has spilled over uh, some extremist elements of, uh, of the Uyghur Muslim population.